Hello friends and welcome to this exciting tutorial on how to create beautiful lifelike skin textures using Adobe Photoshop. I am really excited to share this technique with you friends because trust me by the time we are done this tutorial you will be an absolute pro at skin editing. So without further ado let's dive right in. First things first I have this photo here that I want to retouch. Of course you can follow along with any portrait photo of your choice but I will be using this one as a demonstration. Our very first step is to duplicate the background layer. To do this simply press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard if you are on PC or Command plus J if you are using a Mac. Now let's go ahead and rename this new layer to color and tone. It's always good practice to keep our layers organized and this will help us stay on track as we work through the editing process. Now with the color and tone layer selected, we are going to apply a Gaussian blur to it. This is an essential step because it helps in creating a smooth base for our skin texture, which will ultimately make our retouching work look more natural. To do this, go to filter, blur, select Gaussian blur. Once the dialog box opens, apply a small radius, something like 6 pixels to achieve the desired smoothing effect. And remember, the goal here is not to make the skin look overly blurry, but rather to smooth out any imperfections and create a nice even base for us to work on. Now let's utilize the power of AI to create flawless skin. To do this, select the color and tone layer we created earlier. Now open the quick mask options by double clicking on the quick mask icon located at the bottom of the toolbar and select masked areas. After configuring the quick mask options, we are going to enter the quick mask mode. Keep an eye out for the icon at the bottom of the toolbar that looks like a square inside a circle and click on it. You will notice that the color and tone layer may become red indicating that you are now in quick mask mode. In the next step, we are going to fill in the masked areas. Navigate to edit, fill and a dialog box will appear. Within this dialog box, change the color to a shade of gray, anything between 30 to 40 percent. Upon doing this, you will notice that your entire image turns red. Don't be afraid, this is perfectly normal. The red overlay represents the areas that will be affected by the edits we make while in quick mask mode. Once you have filled in the masked areas, it's time to exit quick mask mode. To do this, simply click on the same quick mask icon again. The red overlay will disappear and you will be back in the standard editing mode. Now in the contextual taskbar, click on generate to fill, type skin smoothing and click on generate. You will be presented with several options generated by Photoshop's AI. Take a moment to select the one you like the most. You can preview each option in real time on your image. So feel free to experiment and choose the one that suits your image best. Once you have smoothed out the skin using the AI power skin smoothing feature, it's important to add back some details and texture. This step is crucial because it helps to maintain the natural look of the skin even after smoothing. To do this, duplicate the background layer again by pressing Ctrl plus J or Command plus J on a Mac and move this new layer to the top of the layers panel. Rename this layer to Details and Texture. Now go to Image, Apply Image. In the dialog box that appears, change the layer to Color and Tone as this is the layer we used for smoothing the skin. Set the blending mode to subtract, scale to 2 and offset to 128. If you are working with a 16-bit photo, you will need to make some adjustments. Change the blending mode to add, set the scale to 2 and the offset to 0. Additionally check the invert option. Since my photo is 8-bit, I will stick to the previous settings. Once you have made the necessary adjustments, click OK. Now that we have added back some details and texture to the skin, the next step is to desaturate the layer. To do this, navigate to Image, Adjustments and select Desaturate. 
This will remove the color from the details and texture layer, leaving us with just the details and texture information. After desaturating the layer, change the blending mode of the details and texture layer to linear light. This blending mode is particularly useful when working with texture and details layer as it helps to enhance the details without affecting the overall color balance of the image. As an optional step, you can take the brush tool and paint with black to hide the newly generated content from specific areas like hair, eyes and lips. To do this, make sure you have selected the skin smoothing layer mask and then set your brush color to black. Paint over the areas where you want to hide the effect. This is useful if you find that certain areas of the skin look too textured or if you want to soften specific areas further. It gives you more control over the final look of your retoucher skin, allowing you to tailor the effect to your liking. And there you have it, my dear friends. Take a moment to compare the before and after and you will be amazed by the stunning transformation. You have successfully turned an ordinary photo into a professional looking portrait with smooth, detailed skin texture that truly stands out. Here is the quick recap how to create lifelike skin textures in Adobe Photoshop. First duplicate the background layer, Ctrl plus J on PC or Command plus J on Mac and rename it Color and Tone. With the color and tone layer selected, apply a Gaussian blur with a radius of around 6 pixels. Now select the color and tone layer, then enter quick mask mode by clicking the icon at the bottom of the toolbar. Fill in the masked areas with a gray shade 30 to 40%. Exit quick mask mode, type skin smoothing in the contextual taskbar and click generate. Now select your preferred option. Now duplicate the background layer and move it to the top. Now go to image, apply image and adjust settings accordingly. Desaturate the details and texture layer and change its blending mode to linear light. Optionally use the brush tool to paint with black to hide the effect in specific areas. And that's it, here is before and after. That's all for this video friends, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. Please hit the hit subscribe button and give it a like. Do you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned for our next video, until then, take care, happy editing.